I'm here today um, to put more pressure on the British Museum and finally get the Weagle Shield returned back home to my people. You know, the bullet hole there, you know, we all know that they shot at us first and possibly that man could have died. We're here for a stolen goods tour led by Rodney Kelly, the indigenous Australian descendant of one of the first people who encountered Captain Cook when he arrived in Australia in 1770. I've been on a campaign for the past two, nearly three years, trying to reclaim my ancestors' belongings that were violently taken by Cook when he first arrived on our shores. What's been so powerful is seeing the connections being built between these different campaigns and the campaign to end oil sponsorship of arts and culture. You'll notice that BP logos are stuck around this museum on very specific exhibits. We believe that that is not ethical sponsorship and it needs to be stopped. BP and the British Museum are perfect partners because we both put the plunder in British. <laughs> Government documents from meetings in 2002 in the lead up to the Iraq war quote BP representatives as being desperate for intervention in Iraq and that Iraq was the big oil prospect. By exhibiting artifacts here that were stolen, um, we're, we're kind of detracting from histories of resistance, histories of trauma, histories of Iraqis as subjects, basically. Iraqi and diasporic Iraqi activists stand in solidarity with movements by other people of color in the reclamation of symbols of their history. We're standing here in support of our um, cousins from Rapa Nui who travelled here a few weeks ago. We have some Rapa Nuiian friends who eat, uh, sent us a karakia, a blessing for Hua Hakana Mayo. Mō rere, mō hoki mai koe, aro te wai ki tukupaina. How many of our tūpuna, our ancestors, our taonga, our sacred artefacts, and our atua, our gods, are locked away in museums and art institutions around the world. There could be an exchange for modern cultural art from indigenous artists, firmly placing museums as relevant in the now and future, rather than a mausoleum for the past. You'll see the few of us are here dressed uh, officially as representatives of the British Empire. Um, <laughs> these figures, part of an ancient belief system, have been stranded in the British Museum. But home is where they were created two and a half thousand years ago. There are all these spaces where these ones should be. In the Acropolis Museum where you can stand, you can see the Parthenon through the window. I was in Gothenburg um, for a talk with the collection department of the museum in, in uh, Stockholm and you know they're ready to repatriate the spear that they have in their collection. That's going to put so much pressure on the British Museum. The current board of the museum should decide whether they're going to make history or prefer to remain stubborn and let others with more vision make it in the near future. This feels like it has so much power and momentum behind it now. These different causes, these different campaigns, these different struggles coming together, seeing the connections and seeing how we can support each other into the future. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.